Okay, we know about giveaways, we know about collabs, we know about Instagram, but this is not that. tomorrow on an office tour you'll see exactly what we what we're doing here and it's super exciting so stay tuned for that video what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ariel if you didn't know so today's video is not gonna be just on how to gain clients it's how to gain more clients if there's one thing that we all know about lashing and being in the service industry it's that we run on having clientele so we constantly need to be gaining more clients so today's video is not gonna be your typical gaming clients videos. It's not gonna be about doing collabs. It's not gonna be about doing giveaways. It's not gonna be about creating Instagram accounts. It's gonna be some really good tips that are gonna take your strategies to like the next level. It's gonna be basically, I gathered some tips from other industries, things that work for totally different industries that we could totally make work for lashing. So let's just get into it. Number one is social opportunities. Social opportunities can be so many different things, but I have three main social opportunities that I want you guys to really maximize on. My number one social opportunity is family and friends. This is super important. I know for a fact that my mother is my biggest fan. Aww. And she literally will promote me anywhere we go. Like she will talk to the deli girl and be like, my daughter does lashes, did you know that? Let me give you her Instagram. It is extremely embarrassing, but trust me, she has gotten me my fair share of clients. Number two would be maximizing on the fact that you have family and friends in certain industries that can totally benefit you. It, let's just say, for example, you have a cousin. Your cousin is a nurse. You do your cousin's lashes for free, she goes to work, and therefore she is seen by all her nurse friends, her coworkers, everybody that's in that hospital, wherever it is that she works, is now seeing your lashes and seeing your work, and guaranteed you're gonna have at least one person ask her, hey, where'd you get your lashes done? They look really good. And that's how it, you kind of get your ball rolling. Okay, and then my third one for social opportunities is basically you yourself going out there and starting conversations. I cannot tell you how many times I've been out with my fiance, we've gone places, we've gone to dinners, and it's definitely nerve wracking, but like I will literally just be like, hey, do you, like obviously someone who gets their lashes done, I'll be like, hey, do you get your lashes done? Like they look really good, and chances are that they have a complaint, and it's happened to us multiple times. People have said like, oh yeah, I get them done, but something about this isn't right, something about it I don't like, and then that's your, your opportunity, like swoop in and just educate the crap out of them, and then all of a sudden they follow you on Instagram, you follow them on Instagram, and that's a potential client. So all of those opportunities are right in front of you, you just need to kind of take a step forward and just put yourself in the position to get the clients coming in. Okay, number two tip is having lashes yourself. This is super important. If you are doing something specifically a service, you need to be the one advertising it. You are a walking advertisement. You need to represent your brand all times of the day. So that means when you're walking in the grocery store, you need to have lashes on because at the end of the day, someone doesn't know who you are. They can literally just come up to you and be like, oh my God, I love your lashes. Like, where do you get them done? And instead of telling them where you get them done, you go ahead and you're like, hey, I'm a lash artist myself. Here is my Instagram page. Follow me. And that's that specific situation situation has happened to me before in the dollar store and I definitely got her as a client and she came back to me multiple times. So you need to make sure that you are constantly representing your brand. I, myself personally, I didn't wear lash extensions uh, at the beginning of having my lash business until like two years in and I cannot tell you how much I regret doing that. I wish I was wearing lashes from the very beginning because it's definitely something that people want to know where you get and it gives you an opportunity to promote yourself. Okay, tip number three, get yourself your happy clients because you know you have them and ask them for referrals. And chances are if they've been to you before and they're already happy, they are referring you, but 
it doesn't hurt for you to actually go ahead and ask them for a referral. Don't sit back and wait for the referral because sometimes people don't know, sometimes people don't want to say it, but the chances are if you ask them, they are willing to actually uh, do it for you just because you're asking them and they have a good reputation, uh, they have a good uh, relationship with you, they're happy to do that for you, they're more than willing, but sometimes it just takes you to go ahead and ask rather than sit there and wait for them to mention it to you. Okay, tip number four, contact your lost clients. This is something that I've recently started doing that actually helped me is that I was getting a little too busy, I had people messaging me, and unfortunately I wasn't able to take them, but that doesn't mean that you never want to take them. These are all clients that you can potentially add to your client list. So what you do is, let's say you can't take them in that moment, you let them know, hey, I'm so sorry, I'm booked, but I do want to take you in the future. Like, please message me again, let me know when you're ready to have another set, or if you want to fill, I'm glad to do it for you. So I actually did that with one of my, uh, somebody who did message me, and then luckily enough, she messaged me back two weeks later and she was like hey I like are you free now like are am I able to come to you and she she already got her, her appointment done from someone else which was fine because I was booked but then she did come back because I made that I opened that window for her to come back but in the scenario where obviously not every client's gonna do that or potential clients gonna do that you take yourself back on Instagram or text or wherever it is that they messaged you and you say hey I actually have an opening this week I would love to do your lashes I would love to have you as a client let me know when you're free and we could work around your schedule because I've freed up. So that way they know that you're very interested in having them as a client and it doesn't sound like a money grab. It sounds more like, hey, I couldn't accommodate you then, but let's work around your schedule now. And obviously these things kind of are situational. Obviously if you have the time, if you have the space, you definitely want to accommodate that client. But if you don't, still reach out and let them know like, hey, I really want to take you. If you were, if you would like to book um, in the future, let me know. If you have a specific date or an event coming up, please let me know in advance. I would love to take you. These are all ways to kind of open up the window of opportunity for you to gain these clients back. And tip number five is very simple I find, but I think it works wonders and it's literally just about emphasizing on your unique skills. I actually talked about this in a previous video, actually my last video, but in this context, it's a little bit different. I do wanna say that like every single lash artist has a different skill, has a different technique, has totally different ways of doing things and that's why doing lashes is so unique to each lash artist. It's like doing makeup, it's, it's an art form. So that means that you yourself, if you're doing lashes, there's something that you do that's unique and you need to maximize on that. Whether it's doing a certain type of lid, such as a mono lid, if it's doing a certain type of like lash, like curly lashes, downward lashes, if it's like being able to shape in a certain way, you need to figure out what it is that you're doing that is really, really good or what type of client is coming to you and realize why they're coming to you and then take that and run with it because that's gonna be, don't think of it as, oh, I'm only doing one type of client and I really wanna expand. Yeah, that's great, of course you wanna expand, but maximize on that unique thing that you're doing to gain that type of client. And what I mean by that is when you're trying to maximize on a certain set, like let's say, let's just throw it out there and say we're talking about like a mono lid because that's something very unique and a little bit difficult to do. Um, if that's what you're, you're really good at, if that's what you find a lot of your clientele has mono lids, then definitely emphasize that in your captions. Put it down so people can tell like I know that I did this monolid and this is how I did this monolid and I know that I did a really good job. D don't be afraid to maximize on what you're good at. Let them know I know I'm good at this and I'm confident in my work in this specific set. That way that you're, t and also another thing too, not just captions, but make sure you're taking pictures of that specific set in a way that flatters that set and emphasizes that exact thing that you want to focus on in that picture. So that way all these things will reiterate to your clients or your potential clients or people seeing your work that, hey, this is what this lash artist is good at. Maybe I should go to her because this is what she's doing and I, that's what I'm looking for. Okay guys, that is it for today. Those are all my tips on how to gain more clients. I hope that they were helpful. I hope that it actually, these are actual tips that you can implement on a day to day. I think they're super simple tips that you can do without having to stress about them, that not having to worry about doing things that aren't gonna work. I think I personally, all of these tips have worked for me in the past 
And like I said, they're from different industries and I think that we can all make them work in our lash world. So definitely try them out. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with something new next time. Bye.